Hello all, welcome to my channel Codify with Sonal. Today we are going to do something very interesting. Uh, I learned this uh, a few weeks ago in AWS. So we'll be doing, uh, we'll be creating an architecture or serverless architecture. We'll label the images using Amazon recognition. It's a really fabulous service guys. So let's go and explore it and also we'll be integrating it with S3 and DynamoDB. So let's go ahead. We'll be using Lambda as well, serverless side, right? So how can we leave Lambda? So what is Amazon recognition first of all? So recognition is a cloud-based uh, software as a service which gives you the computer vision platform, okay? So it makes it easy to add image and video analysis to your applications, you know, using your deep learn, using its deep learning uh, technology that requires no machine learning expertise to use. You can use it like to understand facial analysis, basically recognizing, detecting, analyzing, comparing faces, all that particular task is the work of Amazon recognition. You can analyze million of images, uh, streaming, stored videos in seconds, okay? And even the human review task with AI. So it's a really cool service. If you want to explore more on this uh, about the understanding, I'll put the link of the service documentation below. Check that out. So let's go ahead and see uh, what kind of architecture we are going to do today. So basically, uh, as a user, we'll be logging into console and creating AWS resources. First, we are going to do is we'll create an S3 bucket, then we'll create a Dynamo DB table, then Lambda function, then uh, it which will get triggered through S3, and then we will test our serverless architecture how it works. Okay, so this is the basically the diagram what we are going to do today. So let's go ahead and create it in AWS. So here we are in our console. So first thing that I would like to do is first of all, uh, create a IAM role. Okay. So here we'll go into role and we'll create a new role here. Okay. And we want Lambda as we'll be executing Lambda role. Okay. Now basic, you will have Lambda execution. Okay. Lambda basic execution role first policy. Second, we'll be using DynamoDB. So let us search Dynamo. So we'll give DynamoDB full access. Okay. And uh, then we will search for S3 because we need to give, uh, we need to pick up things from the bucket, right? So S3 full access and last service what we are going to use is recognition. So recognition full access. Okay. And we just name the role as S3. Dynamo DB recognition role okay so that's it and we'll create the role so the role is created okay and you have all the permissions what were required okay we'll be adding one more inline uh, one one more inline policy over here which we'll do after creation of dynamo db okay so let's now go ahead and create a bucket and we'll say create bucket. I'm using the bucket name as codify with Sonal. Rest all you can leave it blank as it is and say create bucket. Okay, so now the bucket is created and now we'll go ahead and create a DynamoDB table. So say create table and we say codify with zonal underscore table and we are going to do image processing. So I'm just naming the partition key as image and it will be a string. Okay. That's it. Leave all the rest things as it is and say create table. Okay. 
now the bucket is created the table is created table will take some time to get active so let's wait for that so as you can see the table is active now now we'll go ahead and create a lambda function okay so say create function author from scratch you'll name the function so we'll just name it as recognition underscore function okay and we'll be using python here okay so that's it and uh, default execution role we say use an existing role remember we created the role so that role gets reflected here that's it you're going to select the role and you're going to say create function okay so now the function is created now you need to add the code what you have to uh, what you want this function to perform so i have my code ready i will be if you any one of you wants to check out the code i will uh, recommend the link in the description box okay there you can check it out as of now i'm just pasting the code okay you see here we are using boto3 okay for uh, python boto3 that's like a api one okay so our client is recognition it's in us east one and you're having dynamo db this is my dynamo db table name if you're if you're using another table name please use the correct your table name okay rest all you can leave it as it is and we as we mentioned that our item will be an image key okay like the partition key will be image okay so that's it and then you have to click on deploy next thing what we'll be doing is we'll be changing the configuration suppose it takes time so just for the safer side we'll just make it as timeout has to be 10 seconds okay so where did i go to change this i went into configuration tab and i've just edited this okay here in the configuration edit timeout 10 seconds that's it and uh, we should get a notification now how do you get a notification before that you need to also enable even notification in the bucket okay so to do that we'll go to properties inside s3 bucket okay and we will go to even notification okay you say create even notification and i'll just say event for upload okay and nothing to be added here and all object create events and whom it has to call it has to call over lambda function remember so we will say recognition lambda function in the architecture i've told you how it works you can check it out by going a little back in the architecture diagram okay so now we have uh, what all we have done we have created the bucket we have created dynamo db table we have created uh, lambda uh, function and as well as we have the role valid so now whenever we now what this whole scenario will do is whenever you try to upload an object okay so once that object is uploaded the, the lambda function will get triggered because we have enabled a even notification here that whenever the event is getting created it has to call this and it has to go to our lambda function destination so that lambda function will process our recognition uh, service and then it will upload the uh, details labeling system to the dynamo db table now as i mentioned uh, previously that we'll be creating an inline policy for the role so now we'll do that we'll go to our role in iam and here in the permissions tab click on add permissions create inline policy and you can just say json and i have my policy ready and i'll just paste it it's a simple one that you have to allow dynamo db to put the item okay so here you need to replace this with your arn of the dynamo db table so i'll just get the arn go to dynamo db and uh, go to tables click on this and here 
in the additional info you will get this arl okay just copy this and paste it in the resource and just have a star at the end okay this policy will allow you to put items in the dynamo db table okay click on review policy just name this policy as uh, dynamo db put put item policy okay and say create policy so now that we are done with uh, creating a role the role is fine the bucket is good dynamo db table is done lambda function is done now let's test our architecture whether it is working fine or not by uploading an image to a s3 bucket so we go to our s3 service back again we click on the bucket and we say upload add files i'm just adding one jpg of nature and say upload okay upload succeeded now let's go to our dynamo db table and check whether the items have been uploaded here you can see that uh, the image name okay and the labels the vegetation the woodland tree what all it has right it is detecting through recognition service so this is how uh, it works recognition in combination with lambda s3 okay and dynamo db so hopefully the session was useful guys and uh, you learned something new so if you really like it please uh, subscribe to the channel and also if uh, please tell me what kind of labs would you like to see me doing further and any kind of practice series on certifications i've already posted on cloud practitioner my strategy on solution architect also the practice series on both if any particular coding language you would like me to explore on please let me know in the comment box keep learning till then stay happy let's codify with sonal in the next video please like share and subscribe my channel do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you get a notification of the updated video thank you